We're here at the Two Inlets Pump Station in northern Minnesota, where hundreds of people have came to join us to stop construction that's happening right next to us on the Line 3 pipeline. So it is beautiful to see hundreds of people here right now. There are thousands of people in northern Minnesota trying to stop Line 3 pipeline. If people are wondering, you know, what's going on here in, in um, northern Minnesota, there is a pipeline that is being built. 330 miles of it goes through northern Minnesota and it goes through over 200 bodies of water, pristine wetlands, and we can't allow that to happen. Um, it crosses over the Mississippi River twice and we have an obligation to the next seven generations to uphold the treaties, to protect this land and to protect wild rice for future generations. First Nations people put out a call. So me being a lone Micmac that I was, I made my way up here. Um, these kids all deserve a future. These lands need to stop being destructed for greed. This is sacred land. These are livelihoods that they're putting at risk. And I've had enough. This whole world is filled with children. Children that deserve the proper future that they were promised. And if nobody else wants to get up off their asses and get out here and do this type of shit, then I'll get up here and I'll do this type of shit. You know, I'm the daughter of a residential school survivor. I mean, the natives just have strike after strike after strike after strike against us. We're sick and tired. Stop fucking with First Nations people. We'll help you. We'll feed you. We can save this earth. We all like living. We all like being here. We all like going to our little country homes. You know, I've never had that luxury of, of, a, of a summer home away on a lake, you know. But for those of those that do have that out there, we, I'm pretty sure they enjoy it. Get your asses out here. Fight for the lake you want to live on. You have more of a right to a lake than us native people do. You know, all that kill the Indian, save the man. Well, guess what? Who didn't kill the Indian? We're still here. We're still fighting. And we're going to continue to fight.